Yo, what's up, Colonial Kid? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kids? Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kid? <laughs> Guys, come on, let's do this. Yo, what's up, Colonial Kids? We're so excited to see you today. Um, why don't you stand up wherever you are and let's worship together. Oh, 
we're green. We're the best you've ever seen. We're tough. We're rough. You haven't seen enough. Hey, hey, you know what to do. You gotta rock with the white and jam with the blue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, someone likes their sports. On the count of three, can you yell out your favourite sports team? One, two, three! Oh, and Jenny Curtis! <laughs> now, if I asked you to switch teams, what would you say to that? No way, that would never happen. <laughs> because you are loyal. You want to stand by your team whether they are losing or winning. You are devoted and steadfast. Loyal. You got it, Jackie. And you're loyal to your friends and family, standing up for them and not listening to anyone talk behind their backs. For sure. God loves a loyal attitude. And the Bible is full of verses which let us know that it's a good way to live. How do I look? Like you are winning. Thank you, Max. I feel like a winner, but my team hasn't been doing very well this season. I don't even want to go watch the games anymore. Well, my team is doing great. We are the top of the league. It's easy to be loyal when things are going great and everything is happy. But it gets harder when things are not going your way and life gets tough. All through the Bible, God used unlikely heroes. Ordinary people, just like you and me, we're able to be part of some amazing things God was doing on earth. You don't have to fight in a battle to be a hero. It can be as simple as putting others first. As simple as showing your character, how strong you are inside. Heroes are loyal. So you're gonna keep supporting your team, Jackie? Absolutely. There are things far more important than sports in this world. And if I keep supporting my team, then when we beat Max's team, it will be even sweeter. <laughs> Not likely. My team is the best. Oh yeah? Well, my team is playing your team next week and I think we're going to I win. I don't think so. There's no way you could beat us. I know we can. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. No, you can't. We're green. We're me. We're mean. gonna we're beat We're the best you. you've ever seen. We're, we're tough. Gonna win. We're rough. You haven't seen enough. This story gives us a glimpse into the lives of an ordinary family. After losing her husband and then 10 years later her two sons, Naomi decided it was time to move and find a new home. Her two sons had both married and after they had died left their wives Orpah and Ruth. So Naomi, Orpah and Ruth decided to all move together. After they had been travelling a while, Naomi told her two daughters-in-law, go back to your family homes, go and live with your mothers and may God treat you as graciously as you treated your husbands and me. Naomi kissed both Orpah and Ruth and they cried. Such was their deep love for one another. No, we can't, said Ruth, wiping back the tears. We're going with you. We want to be with you and with your people. Orpah nodded in agreement as she also wiped away her tears. Naomi shook her head. No, my dear daughters, go back. Why come with me when you have a home and a family to return to? Please, Naomi insisted. Once again, they all cried and hugged one another. Then Orpah kissed Naomi on the cheek, said goodbye and left for her family. Naomi said, Orpah is going to her people. You go to yours, Ruth. You can't make me go home, said Ruth. Wherever you go, I'm going. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people are my people and your God, my God. Where you die, I'll die and that's where I'll be buried. Naomi realised that she didn't have a choice. So she gave in and she and Ruth travelled to Bethlehem together. When they arrived in Bethlehem, the whole town was soon buzzing. Is this really our Naomi? And after all this time? And they welcomed Naomi and Ruth with open arms. Ruth supported Naomi all that she could and through it all, married a man named Boaz who trusted in God. God is with us no matter what we're going through in our lives. He is the best example of what faithfulness looks like. Obedience in everyday life pleases God. Ruth's sacrifice and hard work to provide for Naomi reflected God's love. We learn to be faithful by being loyal to our friends and sticking close to them when things are hard. Heroes are faithful friends. Throughout the Bible, God worked through ordinary and unlikely people in incredible ways. You and I are just as ordinary and just as unexpected. So imagine what God can do through us.
So, don't forget our friend Ruth. Don't forget the example she gave us. When it's tempting to get annoyed with our family and friends, just remember the new word we learned, loyalty. Loyal people are people you can trust. They have your back. They will never abandon you. And they are true and on your side. I want to be loyal, just like Ruth. Hello. <laughs> Heroes are loyal. Huh? Heroes are loyal. Heroes are loyal. Mm -hmm.